What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the situation of the jailbreak. Is it dead? I get this question a lot of times, whether the jailbreak is dead or not, and I decided to address it in this video in here. And um, the reason I'm doing it is because I got inspired by this article in here that is going to be in the description down below, which treats the situation fairly well. It has been written by the motherboard and it's called The Life, Death and Legacy of the iPhone Jailbreaking. Now, um, this is a very, very long article. It contains a lot of info about the Yalu itself, look at the Desco, about even the first jailbreak teams, and even goes as back as um, talking about, you know, Jihad, which is in the picture right now, and um, his first unlock for the iPhone, the first iPhone in the um, on the market on, I think it was uh, 2007. So it's a very complete article. It talks about the iPhone dev team, uh, which which was the first um, jailbreakers team and a lot of other things that happened under the hood so i definitely recommend you to take a look in here it's going to tell you a lot of things about the current situation and you're going to understand a lot what of the things that are going on and why is jailbreaking slowing down but let me tell you my thoughts on it for the moment so you have seen that the uh, pangu team has created jailbreaks for ios 7.1.x 8.x, 9.x, but then they suddenly stopped. And also, jailbreakers like, you know, Comex, like we know CM, like even Soric, and even, you know, Geohot and so on. What happened to them? Why they are not jailbreaking anymore? Well, the reason stated by Motherboard, and this is what I actually uh, believe as well, is that they simply got older. Now, the jailbreakers like, you know, Geohot and the dev team and so on that used to be in the past on iOS 6 and iOS 7 and iOS 4 and so on, they were, they were actually teenagers and they used to do it for fun. They used to do it in their spare time, which was quite a lot. They only had, you know, the school and or, you know, the university and so on back then to think about. But then they simply got older. They, they grew up and they're now actually 20 or 30 or 25, 26 and so on, which means that by now they have a family or they have a job, they, they had to do it and they had to, you know, put apart the jailbreaking and whatever they used to do in their free time to work on something that really matters for them, like finding a job or working in the domain. A lot of them are working in the iOS security or the security in general for various companies and they're no longer, you know, in touch with the jailbreak community. And that simply happened. Speaking about Pangu, you have seen a demo from Pangu at the beginning of the year, and now you can also um, remember the demo for the um, the Kinlab jailbreak. And you also know about Taiji jailbreaking. What happened with these? Well, nowadays, as I said, the exploits used in a jailbreak are fairly, fairly valuable. If you take a look here on the um, the content, the security content of the iOS 10.3.2, you can see that only in iOS 10.3.2, Apple has killed quite a lot of bugs, which means that the jailbreak is getting fairly hard. This doesn't mean the jailbreak is dead, and you should not consider that. The jailbreak is definitely not dead, but it did got a lot harder than it used to be. Of course, Apple evol um, evolved, and they learned from the jailbreakers where the um, wh where the vulnerabilities are. So they got tougher and tougher. Starting with iOS 9, Apple introduced KPP or kernel patch protection, which cannot be disabled. It can only be bypassed. And at that point, starting with iOS 9.x, the jailbreaking has really seen a slowdown in public releases. This, this is just because jailbreaks are nowadays requiring exploits that are hard to find and once you once you build an exploit over a vulnerability that is hard to, hard to find, it's definitely not something that you would like to simply release for free and this is happening. So um, yeah, this is, actually, um, uh, this is actually the problem. We're talking about exploits that can even fetch a couple hundred dollars uh, on, the, uh, on the market. So, the problem is that, of course, a lot of security researchers are going to sell it or keep it private for later use than simply burning it into the public. Anyways, we're going to see more and more jailbreaks in the future, but it's definitely going to be harder. And since Apple is doing it pretty well, the Apple is protecting the devices very well, we're going to see a slowdown in the releases. So what I recommend you is to Keep an eye on the jailbreak. Once you get it, once somebody burns his exploits in order to release a jailbreak, 
you should definitely keep it safe. Do not install tweaks that is going to that are going to kill your device or put it in a boot loop because if you lose the jailbreak it's definitely your fault and after that you need to wait another year or another two years for a new jailbreak. The jailbreak is definitely not dead but it's definitely getting harder. So you should be prepared, keep your jailbreak safe. If you're already jailbroken, do not update and do not you know, overload your jailbreak with a lot of stuff that isn't actually required because any tweak can trigger something bad on your device. This is actually it, guys. These are my thoughts on the current jailbreaking status. Yes, the jailbreaking is getting harder due to the exploits becoming much more valuable now and much more, um, you know, hard to, to create. The vulnerabilities are harder to find. And of course, the lack of developers. A lot of developers grew up and found a job and so on. They're no longer doing it. They used to do it for fun and so on. And the, the ones that we still have are driven off by the community itself with a lot of questions like when you're going to release the jailbreak for my version or when you're going to do the jailbreak for iPhone 7 or for iOS 10.3.2 they get these questions quite a lot from kids and from you know people that simply are impatient and this is very annoying so um yeah I really hope you understood the current situation the jailbreaking is definitely not dead but it's definitely harder so keep that in mind and keep your jailbreak safe Save your blobs and always be prepared. Do not update to the latest version. Latest version means more bugs patched by Apple. So less chances for a jailbreak. This is actually it guys. Till the next time, do not forget subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if you like it. Check the motherboard article in the description down below. It's going to complete very well what I said in this video. So definitely a good read and peace out.